I'd like to welcome the newest member of the comment club. If you want to join the comment club, make sure you leave a comment below. What is going on guys? This is the Grand Smelt here and we're here with a lineup update. And I'm excited. We got a lot of new pickups. We are up to a 90 overall team. But as you can see, we're down to 239k. We're up to one mil at a time and then we spent it all on good upgrades, I think. Uh, we're saving this 239k just in case a good team of the week card comes out. Uh, limited editions, uh, they're the limited time cards are usually pretty good. So uh, tomorrow we will see if something good comes out, if we can snatch it up for 239k. Um, uh, also, if you guys want to see some gameplay, leave a like on this video. And this is a very good squad, so I'm definitely going to bring out some gameplay with it. A lot of guys that people may be interested in thinking about getting, so let's jump right into it. Um, first big addition to the team, as you can tell, is Donovan McNabb. Uh, we used to have Tyrod Taylor. We sold him, and uh, McNabb is easily one of the best quarterbacks in the game, especially for how much... I paid for him. If you guys saw the um, the auction block series, we're tr still trying to find a new name for that. Um, but we actually made this Donovan McNabb for like 110k. So definitely a great purchase for us, a great addition. Uh, he's got 90 throw accuracy short, 94 medium, and 92 deep with 87 speed uh, and 94 throw power. So pretty good all around the board. Doesn't really lack anywhere. His short throw accuracy is a little bit low. But honestly, I went from Tyrod Taylor, who had a lot lower than that for all of them. So definitely a good pickup for the team. Uh, he also has pretty decent carrying, so he really doesn't fumble all that much. So if you guys are looking for a quarterback that's really good, this is the guy to get. He also is a mobile quarterback as well, so you don't have to throw it every time you can run it with him. Uh, we're still trying to find a new replacement for Terrell Davis. I always call him Thomas Davis. I'm sorry, you guys, if I upset you by that, but... Um, I want somebody who's short pass so I can go pick up a new slot receiver, which will be Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper, the um, the new journey one, that's the one we're going to get for the slot unless we get a, a better slot receiver. But yeah, I think I, I just need to replace the styles. If you guys don't realize how important styles are, I'll talk about them in a separate video um, probably going to release this week. Styles are very important and uh, you just got to know how to use it as well. So you got to make sure you're not wasting it or, and all that. So if you guys know a good slot receiver with short pass, it's decent price. Let me know. I know Amari Cooper is not short pass, but he's only going for like 50 or 45 K. So definitely is worth, he's a great card. So we'd love to get him. I think McNabb's our only change on the offense. Um, in a while. I don't know if Tyron Smith, if I had him last time. Pretty sure I did. Um, yeah, so that's the offense. The defense, we got some major changes on defense. Uh, we'll start off with Rod Woodson. Rod Woodson, beast safety. We've moved him over to strong safety just because he's got very good block shed. I'll go break down the stats. And we compare him to Quinn because th both these cards are great. I think... Um, Woodson's better at man coverage. Quinn's better at zone coverage. Also, Rod Woodson's a lot better of a, you know, an inside safety if you bring a safety up in the box. I feel like Rod Woodson does a little bit better of a job. Uh, both have good awareness to like 84 and 85. Tackle is relatively the same. Um, Rod Woodson could kick return if I need him to, which is pretty cool. Uh, block shed on Quinn is 70 and on Rod Woodson it is 80. So that's absolutely insane. Some middle linebackers don't even have 80 block shed. So that's really good. He's definitely going to play up in the box a lot for me. Uh, also, he definitely will play in man coverage. I love throwing my safeties in man coverage. Usually it's Quinn, but now since I have a better man coverage guy with Rod Woodson, I'm good with that. Um, both have very good play rec. Pursuit's pretty decent on both and hit power. We got a little upgrade from when we switched to um, Nate, switch from Nate Allen. Nate Allen is a great card. It's a great budget card. For some reason, this card plays well above an 84 overall, but I, I needed that man coverage and zone coverage boost with Rod Woodson. Also, the hit power boost is pretty good. So we switched over. Uh, so that was a good pickup. I think it was like 150K or something like that. Uh, next, we got rid of. Well, we didn't get rid of Luke Keekly. We moved him to the bench a little bit more. We got 
Thomas Davis. He's a left outside linebacker, but we put him at middle linebacker. And if you compare him to Michael Kendricks, look at that. He is a zone coverage monster. He is a great addition. Uh, I was really tempted to put him at number one, but I would lose the style boost. And it's, it's so important, guys. I promise. Uh, actually, I would be okay moving him, but uh, we'll, we'll think about it. We might move him over. We might keep Kendricks as number one. But Luke Keekley, you can see the upgrade. And Luke Keekley was more, he, felt, he played more like a run stopping uh, outside linebacker than a middle linebacker, in my opinion. Could still play middle linebacker. He did for a while for us. So uh, not going to knock anything off his card. But I think Thomas Davis is a little better pass coverage. And that's really what we needed. Uh, a little better speed, pass coverage awareness, that sort of thing. Um, the next addition is, uh, I don't know if I had Freeney last time I did this. I put him at defensive end. I think, who was there last time for me? It might have been Jared Allen. Jared Allen was there. Um, we got better speed-wise. Strength went down a little bit. Acceleration went up a ton. That's the thing about Dwight Freeney. He is fast. He's very fast. Good play rec. Um, that's really why I got him. Good play rec, good finesse move, good speed, and good acceleration. Hopefully he's able to get to the quarterback. And he has done a decent job with that. He forced a couple of fumbles and that sort of thing. <coughs> the last new pickup for the team is Mathis here. Rashawn Mathis. He is excellent. So far, I've played two games with him. He has three interceptions and one tip that got intercepted by Rod Woodson. So both all of my new guys have been making plays for me. Um, definitely are a very great squad. Actually, the only one I haven't played with is Thomas Davis, um, the new uh, inside linebacker, or the new middle linebacker for us. So all these guys have been playing great. Rashawn Mathis, I got him for like 270K. If you guys can get him for anywhere around that, it's a great deal. I wouldn't pay 320K, which is what he is now. Um, but during the week, his price will drop a little bit. Great card. He's outplayed every single one of my corners. And I have Team of the Week, DRC, and Captain DRC. So uh, definitely just plays over the top. He's a great guy. Great zone coverage, 79 or 97 <laughs> zone coverage. Uh, 96 play rec and 96 awareness for those of you guys who think awareness is all that big of a deal. This is a great guy to get. A uh, great smart player. He knows what zones to cover and all that. So I would recommend him to anyone. I definitely think he's worth the 320 k but I know his price will drop. So hold off uh, if you really want to get him. Uh, and I think that is it for the new additions. Uh, we got rid of um, Josh Norman out of the slot just because I want to a faster, I want a faster guy who's able to keep up in man coverage with the guys in the slot. So that's where DRC is going to fall in. If you guys want to see me get a different corner, let me know. Uh, a lot of people say in Verrett and other things like that, but I would like to see corners that you guys would want to watch on the team. Um, play man or zone uh, would be excellent. Uh, I'm, I'm switching more to a zone coverage defense with a little bit of man, so I still want decent man coverage, but the, the zone is really the big dominant portion of my defense. Um, yeah, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, any guys you want to see on the team, let me, know, let me know down in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.